let v1, v2 and v3 are given, these three vectors, and we can verify v1 minus 3 times v2 plus 5 times v3 is zero vector. All that means v1, v2, I mean this linear combination is zero without being the coefficients 1, negative 3 and 5, all zero. That means these three vectors are linearly dependent because we have a non-trivial linear combination going into zero, okay? All that means. Use this information to find a basis for h, which is a span of these three vectors. Okay, so from this we can say v1, v2, v3 are linearly dependent. So one of them, in fact, v1 can be written as a linear combination of v2 and v3. So v1 is not needed. Or we can write v2, just we can move around. We can write v2 as a linear combination of v1 and v3. Also, V3 is a linear combination of V1 and V2, so V3 is not needed. So in these three vectors, we need only two to find the basis. So a basis for H, which is, which is span of these three, H is just V1 and V2, provided they are linearly independent. Let's see. When we have when we have only two vectors, it's easy to check if they are linearly dependent or not. Uh, looking at this, can we get v2 from v1 or v1 from v2 v2 by multiplying by a constant? Is that possible? No, because if we multiply by any number, we are not going to get this. And same thing. So yeah, this is our basis for H is V1, V3. Or we can write V2 and V3 as well as long as they are linearly independent. Looks like V2, if we multiply V2 by any number, can we get to V3? If we try 4 to 1, that's the 1 fourth. Now negative 7, this is not 1 fourth of negative 7. So or V2, V3 as well. And similarly, uh, V1, V3 as well, in fact. V1, V3. Just one vector was unnecessary here. That's it.